OneChurch software is a tool to help you stay engaged and make that next connection with the people in our church and in our community as well. When using the website or the app, you will be able to interact with various events, groups, and ministries of our church. Want to sign up for the booster? It's as easy as that. We have set up online giving, texting, and emails at a cheaper cost than our previous solutions. And what you can see now when you log in is just the beginning. You can log in and update information on you and your family. You can upload a profile image and some other cool stuff. So, how do you get started? Well, we have our own login portal at https colon slash slash shenchurch.onechurchsoftware.com. If we had a good email address for you when we set the system up, you should have gotten an email that looked like this with your username, which would have been your email address, as well as a finished setup link to click in order to set up your password. And here we have the home page for our portal. Welcome message, any volunteering that you've signed up for, groups that you're a part of, events that you've signed up for, or the events that are available on the calendar. One thing that's very important to us is your privacy. If you click on your home page and click on your name in the upper right hand corner, you can see your privacy setting. By default, you are unlisted in the user directory. If you select listed, many options are available to you. These settings control what information is available to others who are signed into the system. Please consider sharing as much information as you feel comfortable. No data will be shared if the profile is not listed. If you share with any everyone, anyone with a login to our church system can see the data. If you set it to my group members, only members of an interactive group that you are part of can see this data, as well as the church leadership. If you set it to church leadership only, only church leadership can see this data. This is the most private setting. For each item, you can click the down arrow at the right and choose your privacy level. Don't forget to hit save. Or Jonathan Doe here doesn't have very much information in the system yet. We click on his profile. We can go to any one of these sections and edit the information that he's provided there. Don't want people to know how old you are? Well, don't put in a birth year. It's as easy as that. Edit your family members. Add members here. Say whether they're a child or an adult. And you can specify what kind of relationship you have with them. If you're editing your phone number, please make sure that you indicate whether the number is mobile or home. That's where we can know if we can text you or not. It's also a good idea to set your contact preference. Voice notifications take the longest and are the most expensive. Push notifications to the app on your phone are quick and free, as are email notifications. Text messages are about two cents each for each person it's sent to. If you haven't received your email, it's very easy to go to our portal and register. Or if you think you have an account but forgot your password, you can just click Forgot Password. It'll ask for your email address and then submit. You'll get an email with a link to change your password. We really hope you enjoy this new software and make use of it as we continue to add more features and content. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.